All right, guys, so before we start this video, I have a huge announcement to make. GuitarMageddonZL1.com is now live. You guys can now go on the website, check it out. You can also buy shirts, stickers, and posters. Now, this is my first time doing an online store or selling anything online, so bear with me a little bit. Um, I'm kind of in the testing stages of it right now. I have a lot of stickers and uh, posters in stock. However, the t-shirts, it was kind of hard to judge really how many I should have. So what I've done is I've ordered shirts. They are ready to ship. And I've also ordered some that are currently being printed kind of on like a backup if I do sell out of the ones that I already have. But if I do sell out all the shirts, I'll be sending you guys an email. If you bought one, you'll see it. It'll say, you know, something like, you'll have your shirt in a couple of weeks because it only takes two weeks to print the shirts. So it won't be that long. If I do sell out, you guys won't have to wait. And the coolest part about this is free shipping on everything. I've just decided to give you guys free shipping right up front. So whatever you guys buy, it doesn't matter what it is, free shipping all over the US. A lot of you guys have been asking where to get my stuff and I finally bit the bullet and made a website and made an online store. So go check it out. We're also working on some merch for the YouTube call out Oktoberfest on October 28th. I'll have some new stuff for you guys there as well. And a huge surprise coming with the 2013 at the call out. It'll be revealed there that day. So you guys will have to stay tuned for that as well. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy this video. What's going on guys? So we're in the Silverado today and we are going to do a really cool truck mod that I've been waiting to do for a while now. Steve Fast is here, Hammer Down Motorsports. He is going to help us with the truck. So, back at home now. Steve Fast, what do you think? You think the mod today is gonna be cool? Well, if we can pull it off, it'll be awesome. So I'm not like a huge fan of chrome on trucks or chrome on cars, any vehicle really for that matter, um, which is one of the reasons I got the blackout package on this truck. And the blackout package basically is the bow ties on the front and rear are blacked out. The grill here is not chrome, it's blacked out. The wheels obviously are black. Um, these, the steps here, these, these are black instead of being chrome. The mirrors uh, would be chrome as well, depending on the package you ordered. And I just don't like, I just don't like all that chrome. I don't know, that's just me, but I hate it. So the only piece of chrome, which I don't understand, is on this truck is right here, the bottom front bumper here. And we're gonna change that. There's something else I need. What else do I need? Rear window louvers. Oh my God. <laughs> Tell Steve, look, look at Steve's rear window louvers on his, on his Camaro, look at it. Business in the front, party in the back. So in order to solve this problem, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna wrap it gloss black to match everything else that's gloss black on the truck. So that way it'll basically match this here, which is a gloss black piece to that, and it'll look uniform and get rid of that. I think that chrome right there just doesn't, I don't know, I don't think it looks good on the truck. It's, it seems out of place to me, especially since I got the blackout package. We also may even do the mirrors gloss black. I'm gonna do the Z here black instead of red to make it pop out a little better. And the coolest part that I like is we're gonna do a black strip from taillight to taillight and we're gonna make it kinda go along the same theme with both my cars. As you guys know, they both have the black strips between the taillights. I think it's gonna turn out great. We've already cut um, a piece at my parents' house right there. This piece right here is gonna go right on the back here. If we can take this uh, chrome piece off, just that, and wrap it, and then throw it back on, I think that'd be the easiest way to do it. One way or another, it's coming off. That's right, Steve. One That's way how... or another, I'm ripping that thing off. That's how Steve rolls. So now that we have the tailgate handle out, we're going to take this bow tie off so we can just wrap from taillight to taillight, seamless, flatten it out, and then we'll put the put the bow tie back on and put the uh, cut everything out here and then put the handle back in. It'll be a lot easier than trying to heat shrink it and cut around all that stuff. We've been using dental floss to get through there because that's kind of like the easier way to do it rather than just prying it off and damaging your truck or even the, the emblem, so. If I had fishing wire, it'd be a lot easier, but I don't fish. Yeah, fishing line's a little stronger than this. It doesn't have the wax on it so much. It works a little bit better. But yeah. It's going to take your time. Get it off. Yeah. All right, so I got the chrome piece all prepped and ready to be wrapped. Steve has got the emblem off, and this is the worst part about taking any of this stuff off your car or truck is this double-sided 
I, I guess it's like 3M basically double sided. Yeah, tape. it's just double sided tape or whatever. But this is how clean Nick's vehicle is underneath. That's right. It's uh, getting my hands dirty, definitely. Yeah. I actually drive my vehicles. <laughs> and, don't, and don't wash my vehicle. Yeah, it's from all that off roading. Yeah, all that off roading. No, but just driving this truck into work, it's, that's that's what happens. When we took these taillights out to replace the uh, reverse lights to LEDs, the whole inside of the taillight was already completely filthy. And I'd only had these for what? A couple weeks? That's the unfortunate thing about this truck, is it's always dirty. But hey, you know what? It's a truck, so it's supposed to get dirty. In order to get all this stuff off, you can use one of these, which is basically a wax eraser wheel, and you'll throw it on a drill, and you just go right over it, and it should come right off. So that's what we're gonna do to save some time. And Steve Fast with the can of NOS. And I got my can of NOS, because we're gonna NOS up. Yeah. So we got the little wheel there on the drill, and then basically you just take the edge. As you can see, we already started it here, but if you come up closer here, you can see that little piece right there. You just take it. See that? Look at that. Completely off. That easy. And it helps if you have a can of NOS too. It's not awesome. It's not awesome. <laughs> Dude, this thing is magic. It is. Oh, yeah. Wow. Best. Uh, these things are like $42. Um, I'll try and find the link on uh, Amazon and I'll send it to you guys. So if you guys are interested in getting one of these, these things are, like I said, they're magic. I mean, you can see there. I've only been at it for about 15, 20 seconds and I've got the entire mill section out. And the good thing is it's wax, so it's not gonna scratch your vehicle, you know? It'll just, it'll be it's just like a coat of wax over it and you just have to wipe it off. Yeah, once you wipe it off, you can see what then you need to go back over and do. We've got the most of it off and that's all we really need to get. We just don't want any raised bumps or areas on the actual wrap. So I'd say that's pretty good. All right, so now we got this all buffed and cleaned off. We're going to spray it down um, and clean the surface here with some soap and water. You don't want to use something with a, that leaves behind a residue. You don't want to use that because your wrap might not stick as well as it should or it'll start to come off way before you want it to. So here is the uh, pre-cut wrap that we did. So like I said, it's going to start at the top of the tail light, go to the bottom of the tail light, and continue the whole way to the other tail light and we've cut it so it's perfect and all we'll have to do is stretch it from one side to the other squeegee it down and it'll be it'll be good the cut is basically seamless we did it with a straight edge so that way we won't have to worry about cutting it while it's on the vehicle or using any of the uh, knifeless tape this stuff here is called uh, vivid and this is I got that on Amazon as well I'll have that link below in the description for you guys too Look at that. That thing is so reflective, you can't even get a real feel. You can, look, you can see me in it. Hello. <laughs> look at that. It's, it's gloss black, but it's hard to get a good image of it. That's actually a reflection of Steve. That's not actually Steve. That's Steve. I think this wrap is actually better than the paint job on this truck. If you guys don't like your GM paint jobs, just wrap it, because it'll look a lot better. We'll cut that out, clean everything up, put the handle back on, wrap the sides. And that'll be that for the tailgate. So I got the handle all cut out there, good enough. The uh, plastic piece behind here is gonna cover most of it, so we only have to get it so good. Uh, Steve's got a little heat gun there that we're going to basically, while he's doing it right now, it's kind of heating up the wrap. It gets all the bubbles out, and it kind of conforms and shrinks the wrap to the vehicle a little better, especially around the edges here. We'll go around, and it'll shrink it right up to this edge, and it'll look real nice. We've already done, started to do it over here. As you can see, it kind of wraps it around nicer. We'll get the edge here once we get the tailgate down and put the handle back in. So I've reinstalled the tailgate handle, as you can see, and there it is, wrapped. Look at that. Alrighty guys, so it is the next day because I ran out of daylight yesterday, so we're gonna finish the video right now. Um, I was able to wrap the mirrors and the Z badge right there, the Z71 badge, you can see that was red. It's now black to match everything else. And here are the mirrors that I wrapped. I think they turned out pretty good. Um, it is pretty hard to wrap around this here, this angle, because it starts to wrinkle a little bit. You really have to stretch it and heat it up. Um, 
but this was the hardest part right here this extreme angle right here um, it is kind of like rippled and kind of crinkled a little bit but what you really have to do with that is you have to kind of piece something in there and uh, make a little cut line that you can't really notice uh, that would probably be the easiest way to do it or start from here and kind of wrap under so you don't see the wrinkles you won't see wrinkles under here but you will on the top anyways this is my first time doing it so I thought it turned out good for the first time, but that looks a lot better. It matches the grill and the bow tie, and the mirrors are now black, so they kind of match everything else. Now, again, I'm still undecided if I want the bow tie on the back. I don't know. I think it looks cleaner without it. Uh, when you have the bow tie on there, it kind of sits below the handle, and it makes it look off-center now with the wrap. But either way, there is the finished product, the truck wrapped mirrors, front bumper, the Z71 logo, and the rear. I'm going to see if I can turn the truck around so you can get a better look at this tailgate because it's so reflective It's hard to really tell what it looks like so now you can see what it actually looks like rather than reflecting off the garage so That black strip adds a pretty nice touch I think I love it on the truck and it matches the other vehicles as you guys know I have the black strip on the back of my 2017 to match the uh, tinted tail lights and I also have it here on my 2013 as well to match the tinted tail lights yeah back in the day this used to signify that you had a big block in your Camaro that's what they used to do from the factory is they would put that black stripe between the tail lights of the old muscle cars and it would signify like I said that you had a big block so that's kind of why I did it on this car just because I wanted to bring some old school out in it and um, even though it's not a big block, obviously it's just a small, you know, a small block, 376 cubic inch um, V8. But still, I think it's pretty cool to bring that back, you know, from the old days. So that's why I matched the 2017 and now I've matched the truck. See, I got too much red in my life, so I need to put some black accents on it to break it all up. Yes, too much red. So that about does it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. We are going to end it now with some mail time. So we've got more Crown Royal labels. Let's see what they say. Wow, I've got a ton. Who the heck got me all these? Jesus, okay, so we got Crown Royal Reserve. This one says, YouTube's hottest 2017 award, Lauren Lepatic. There you go, look at that. Lauren got the YouTube's hottest award. Wait till she comes home and sees that. Then we got Crown Royal Nix Drank. This is my drank. Hot cars, hot girl, perfect pup, Hashtag life. And then we've got, <laughs> what the, f I guess maybe this is for Andy. Uh, this one says Andy's Crunk Juice. There you go. I'll give that one to Andy because I'm assuming that's who it's for. Looks like we got a letter from Levi Cross of Beaver Springs, Pennsylvania. Levi says, What's up, Nick? We met at Andy's shop a couple months ago when I was getting my Camaro tune there. I have since taking your advice and changed my YouTube name to Cross Auto Films. I have also been uploading weekly vlogs, including my Camaro, CBR1000, and Power Stroke. Love your videos, keep it up. Cross Auto Films, there you go. Awesome, man. Hope your channel does well. Alex Kretschman from Michigan has also sent me a letter. Let's see what his says. Hey Nick, what's up? Watch your videos for a bit now. After doing so, I was thinking about buying a Camaro after graduating college. I'll buy a fifth gen, whether it's a ZL1 or SS, I haven't chosen one yet. I plan on building it with at least performance cams, new headers, E85 setup, and some diverters you have too. Watch out for your airbags. I'm thinking about making a YouTube channel. I already have the name picked out for it. Uh, I just have to choose whether or not to do so. Once I get it done, maybe one day we can take our cars to track and race them. Sorry about the type letter, but my handwriting sucks. That's okay, Alex. Uh, good luck on the channel. Good luck on the car as well. If you get a ZL1, let me know. Send me a message on Instagram. And I'd be glad to help you out with your build. This one's from Logan Raider. It says, open this in vlog, please. I shall do that, Logan. We got some stickers in here, some decals, a letter, looks like, some pictures. Truly love the channel with all the Camaro and the Silverado stuff. I really like watching the videos of you adding mods and going to the track. Uploaded a picture on Instagram of both of our Silverados hauling Camaros a little while ago. Ah, yes, I remember that. So there's his Camaro right there. And look, it even has a parachute on the back too. Must be fast. He's also sent me some decals. Look at that LSX. I like that. I'll probably put that on something. Looks like he's got some other decals here. It says Joe Warren Racing. That's pretty cool. Look at that nitrous bottle. Autism awareness with the turbo. So the guy that owns that Camaro is his friend Zach and he races for Joe Warren Racing, uh, which is a racing group that he started. So there you go. You can follow them on Instagram at Joe Warner Racing and the guy that sent me this is Logan underscore 343. Now we got a little box here from Brett Day of Maryville, Tennessee. What is this? This looks funny. Oh my God. It's my first bag of dicks. 
Look at that. There we go. I've been waiting a long time for a bag of dicks, and I finally got one. Oh, and what do you know? Another 2017 ZL1 Hot Wheels car to add to my collection. I now have about 17 ZL1s, if you did not know. Brett, you get the award. You've got me my first bag of dicks, and I'm probably gonna eat them too, because they look, they kind of look pretty tasty. I like sour, sour candy. Brett says, been watching your channel for a while now. Every video is always interesting, and I try to watch them all. Thank you, man, appreciate it. He's got a 04 CTSV uh, with the LS6 T56. His previous was an 01 Trans Am six speed. He's had it for about six months now, slowly been doing a couple mods to it. Uh, his channel is Brett Day Lifestyle. So if you guys wanna check that out, feel free. He says he wants a fifth gen Camaro for his next car. Would I suggest an auto or manual? Well, it, it really depends on what you guys wanna do with the cars. If you guys wanna like autocross the car, then I would say manual. Uh, if you guys wanna drag race the car, I would say auto. If you're daily driving the car, I would say probably auto. Unless you guys, you diehard manual guys, like to shift gears all the time in traffic. Doesn't sound fun to me, but some guys like to do it. A lot of these newer autos can handle a lot more power than a manual before you have to upgrade them. So that's also a positive too. You know, you really can't beat the technology and how fast some of these new autos shift. So that's why I definitely went with the 10 speed in my new ZL1 because it's such a good transmission. Now I'm gonna eat a dick. Anyways, we've got one more package and this one is from Diode Dynamics. Looks like they sent me another shirt or something in here. So this company has been amazing. I will say that. Um, so if you guys are interested in any sort of LED lighting, please, please look up Diode Dynamics. They're a great company to work with. Um, we're actually working on a light bar for my truck. But yes, I was right. Diode Dynamic shirts. They must have heard what I said in the last video about them being too big. A small for Lauren, a medium for me. Thank you, Diode Dynamics. And looks like another decal there. I haven't put this on my truck yet. I gotta do that. So thank you guys at Diode Dynamics. Thank you guys for sending me all this stuff. If you guys would like to send me something, all of my PO Box information will be below in the description as well as my website and all of my social media. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are coming here for the first time and have a great day.